We're now covering the art and science of forecasting. Now, what, for just one moment, think about your organization. Internal, external, however broad you want to make it, localized, uh, ge geography, whatever you'd like. Products and services are there. Everything you've, uh, everything there was based upon a decision that's been made in the past. And this quote that I have, you are where you are based upon the decisions that you've made. And you are going to be where you are based upon the decisions that you make. Now that's a big distinction. Most people concentrate on the past. They know they got here because of something that happened. There was a series of events. I love the cover of a magazine that I saw from a, a sports, uh, a famous sports person who was in the movie The Blind Side. I don't remember the guy's name. And he shared all the little things that happened in order for him to be at that point. Well, everything that happened, the warehouse that you have was a decision made 40 years ago. The, the hiring of the person who's taking care of the financials might have been some great decision you made at a conference or somebody else made. All of these pieces come together. Well, forecasting is an art and a science. We can't specifically say we know exactly what's going to happen in the future, but we have the forecast, the, the science side of it. We have cycles, trends, patterns. We can determine what the future will be like using some of these tools, but it's also just an art. I don't know how many of you are painters. I love to paint, and one of the things that is you can get a palette of paints, which is your, your data if you want to call it and you can mix them up and match them up and make something amazing out of it. So what you have to do is blend them and in this, uh, this step that I'd like your concept I'd like you to take away is not as much that you are where you are made back on the decisions you've made but more the decisions you make really do impact that future so if you're not living out in that future and looking at the future you're not going to be able to make the best decisions. So this is one of the core activities within uh, the, the core categories within Paid to Think. So I want you to go up to the 50,000 foot view and understand this. If you improve your forecasting art and science, you improve how you look at your competitive intelligence. You could do better product uh, selection or product um, development. You can create better alliances. You can do everything better if you do this better. The challenge is often we're not thinking far enough or we're not thinking appropriately. Let me end with this little story. I was working with a bunch of executives and uh, was speaking at a conference and there were over 300 of them in the room, 400 in the room in that range, probably closer to three. And I asked them to tell me what they believe the future will be like in five years. And they all started to outline and the, the examples that they put together. At one point I said, okay, let's start sharing them. And people started calling out what they thought the future would be like. And then I asked the magic question. For most of these things to have happened, when would you have had to have started them? and you saw the heads tilt and turn, and they realized most of their dreams that they wanted to have would have had to have started years ago in order to have gotten there. They hadn't put the art and science together that they, in order to get there, you have to be constantly mixing them. Now, I'm not going to tell you this chapter is going to be an easy one, and I do go over this and I'll repeat it in another video. The challenge for the art and science of forecasting is the past is very easy to talk about. Why is that? It's happened. But the future requires constant effort to be ahead. You can't be a good forecaster if you're not continually learning. You can't be a good forecaster if you're not in the future. The minute you stop, let's say you took a break for a year, you'd be behind. So it's a very challenging place to be, but the future is where things happen. And that's why you're, you've read the book or you're listening to these videos. So let's get on to the next topic. I hope you got something out of this one.